Hello YouTube, my name is Darren, and this will be the second part of my rare antenna ball collection, which I can't wait to show you. I have here a Canadian Mountie antenna ball. In 2006, over at Canada, there was a convention, and those that attended the Jack in the Box convention gets to have one of these for free. And it has a Canadian Mountie hat and a yellow stripe, really nice. Oh, and it came with a black box. So those that attended were, received a black box that had this inside. These were, excuse me, the convention was the least attended compared to the Gulf Antenna Ball convention. So these are a lot harder to find than the Gulf Antenna Balls. And it's even more harder if it came with a box. They would just like throw the box away and just have these instead. And I have this one, the 2013 construction helmet. Note that this version um, is a lot different than the 2004 version. Not sure if you can see it, but you can see a difference in color. The plain one, the common one, it's a lot brighter and the rare one, it's actually slightly darker, like dandelion. In 2004, they, Jack and Mox tried to experiment with uh, the restaurant to run slightly different or to add new stuff or change their format or something like that. I'm not sure, but it didn't go well. But I think this one, um, they tried to do it again, but maybe in their corporate office. And that's why um, that's why this one exists. I have not seen another one, so I'm assuming this one is really rare. These are everywhere. Like, you can easily get these in an online store. But I have never seen another one like this. This one is the National Burger League Antenna Ball Jack in the Box cap. It's really nice. You can see NBL. Not sure if you can see it well. National Burger League. It's in the bottom. Not sure if you can see it well. And it's really nice. And it has no stamps, so I'm not too sure about this one. Maybe Jack tried to promote its burgers to a higher up place and they gave these away. And those that attend got one of these. This one is the Aviator Jack. I'm not too sure about this one of its authenticity because only, only like two of these I've seen. One of my friends has it at her place and then she sold this one to me. But it looked really nice and I'm assuming Jack in the Box did a commercial as an aviator? I'm not too sure. But it is really nice and yeah, it's a real topper in my opinion. And these two, I really want to talk about these two. These are the sports team number one fan antenna balls. These are plain antenna balls, but except they have a team sticker and a number one in the side. I remember these in 2016, thinking that this is just another common one, but there was an auction in August of 2016. Oh, I tried to get it. It was me and two of my friends trying to bid on that one. Ooh, I remember. I thought I would see another one of this one. The Tennessee Titans number one fan sticker, but I have never seen another one since. I had to wait until December of 2017 to finally get another opportunity of this one. And it wasn't on eBay or Amazon. It was in Mercari. I think... You people know that website. Thanks to the seller, I have this one. And this one is the same thing, except this one is a Carolina Panthers number one fan sticker antenna ball. The smile is peeling off, uh-oh. This one is like 05. These two were released in 2005. And these two are not easy to get. I've only seen three listings of this one. And this one, um, 
I've only seen two. One on eBay and uh, one on Mercari. And that'll do. These are all my antenna balls. These, this is the second part of my rare ones. And I want to thank you all for watching. And can't wait to show you more of my collection soon. Until next time.